Welcome to this first video of section 5. In this section, we're going to be building and deploying a simple web application using Docker. Although Docker is great for running background services and infrastructure, the real value comes from shipping your application. Unlike supporting infrastructure, your application will be updated and shipped quite frequently. Docker can make this process much easier. In order to demonstrate this, we're going to build a simple web application to deploy with Docker. We'll start on our Vagrant VM and we're going to need to install a few packages. We're going to use Python in this example, but the example will be very simple so you don't need Python experience. Really, this would be the same process with any language. Let's install Redis, Python and pip, a Python package manager. Remember, we're installing these on our VM, not in a Docker container. Now with pip, we're going to install two Python libraries. The first is Flask, a web micro framework. The second is PyRedis, which is a Redis client for Python. Now let's start our application. Create a directory for the project called Hello World. In this directory, we'll create and edit a hello.py file. I'm using the basic Flask Hello World example. You can see the source of this on the Flask homepage if you'd like to copy and paste. Now I'm going to save and quit with escape, colon, wq, enter. We can now run our app. In another terminal session in our VM, we can curl this URL. We can see it served our request and we can close it now, control C. OK, we have hello world, but let's make sure to include Redis in this example. We're going to edit our hello.py file and add a counter using Redis to maintain the state of the counter. By default, the client connects to the local host using the default port, but we're going to configure it now to try and look in the environment for a Docker link address. It will use the default for now, but later this will let us use Docker links. Right now, we just want to get this running outside a container. Again, save and quit with escape, colon, wq, enter. We'll run it again and open another terminal again. We can hit it a few times and see the container is incrementing with each request. That's our app. So we've made a very simple web application using Python and Redis. In the next video, we'll see how to put this inside a Docker container.